Hey, it's Gabe with API Nation. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can sync a Google form to your CRM. So that as soon as somebody fills out that Google form, you present it to them on a tablet, or maybe you've texted a link to the form to them, they automatically get that information input into your CRM. You don't have to download, upload, export, import, none of that stuff. It just automatically happens. There's two big reasons agents are doing this. One is to have that Google form, put it on a tablet for an open house or an event, and they can just lay it out there and have people sign in there. That information gets put in their CRM. They don't have to do anything else except hop in that CRM and create some deals. The second reason people are doing this is to make sure the information they have for their current contacts or leads is updated. So they can send out a quick email or text people a link to the form and say, hey, it's a new year. I wanna make sure I can still reach you at the best phone number, the best address. Would you mind putting in your address, your email, your phone number so I can keep in touch with you? So it's a great way to capture leads out and about. And it's also a great way to make sure the information is up to date using a Google form. Let me show you how to set this up. The first thing you're gonna do is go to Google Forms actually. You're gonna go here to Google Forms and you're gonna start a new form. They have templates already, so you don't have to do most anything. They actually have one for contact information. So I'm gonna click on that. It's gonna create a brand new form for contact information. And you would just go through here and edit the questions so that what people are filling out is exactly what you wanna know. Maybe it's how soon they're looking to purchase or sell their house, or maybe it is simply, when is your birthday? It's whatever information you're trying to get from them. One thing I'll note here is that by default, they ask for name. I would go ahead and clone that and make this first one first name and the second one last name, just because most CRMs have those two different fields and it's gonna be easier to sync it in there that way. So you can see this one already has first name, last name, email, address, again, I would probably chop this out into street address, city, zip code, state, because that's how it will go into your CRM. Uh, but this will work for now, just for demonstration purposes. Now that I have this form, I'm gonna come up here to responses. I'm gonna say, hey, any responses I get, put them in a spreadsheet. So I'm gonna click this spreadsheet button. And I'm gonna say, create a new spreadsheet and be sure to name it something you're gonna remember so you can find it later when you're syncing it to your CRM. I'm gonna call this contacts for CRM and hit create. There we go. We now have our contacts for CRM. Here's the information that people are submitting into it. Now I have to set up a sync so that anything that gets added to the spreadsheet automatically gets pushed into my CRM. So now we're gonna go back to API Nation, click on start syncing. And we're gonna come over here to the left-hand side under the categories. I'm gonna come down here to CRM. Click on that. I'm gonna see a ton of different CRMs here. Find the CRM you are using and go ahead and click through. For this example, I'm gonna go ahead and use Chime, but you can see we have KV Core, MoxieWorks, LionDesk, Boomtown. Even if you're just using something like Google Contacts as a CRM, that's also an option. Let's use Chime for this example just to show you exactly what it looks like to set this up. You're gonna click through your CRM, and then you're gonna come down here to Google Sheets and click on that. In most cases, there's gonna be two syncs available, sending stuff from your CRM out to Google Sheet. That's not what we're doing today. Today, we're sending stuff from a spreadsheet into our CRM. So I'm gonna activate that sync, and then I'm gonna go ahead and set it up. First part of setup is sign into my account. If you don't have one, you can create one here. Just click this link, it's totally free. I'm gonna sign in with this Google account I have. Once you sign in, you're gonna go ahead and make a connection to Google Sheets. You'll just hit this connect button. It's gonna ask you which Google account do you wanna connect it to? Choose the one you like and allow. Very similar thing for Chime and for most of the CRMs really, you're just gonna hit the connect button. It's gonna take you out to the website where you'll log in and authorize the connection. All right, so we've connected both of the apps. You can see that's checked. Now we're gonna set up the sync. First step, spreadsheet URL. The URL is just this address here. So let's go back to the spreadsheet. This is the spreadsheet where everybody's gonna land. I'm gonna double click on it. Oop, I'm gonna click on it until everything is highlighted. And then I'm gonna hit Control C or Command C to copy it. Go back to API Nation, click in here, hit Control V or Command V, and that'll paste it in there. And that's all we need. We just need that URL from the spreadsheet. Come down here. 
a couple other options depending on which CRM you're syncing it into. Do I want to overwrite information in Chime or do I only want to add information into blank fields? Totally up to you. If you are sending this out to clients and saying, hey, I want to make sure your information is totally updated. Please put your street address, your phone number and all that. Make sure you leave this unchecked because we will want some of that information to overwrite old phone numbers or old addresses. So that's one thing to think about. Another option for Chime is you can assign these contacts to an agent if you'd like. Let's come down here and hit subscribe and it's going to create the sync. So the sync is now created. It's not yet active. I'm going to come down here. This is what we set up on the last page. If I wanted to filter some people out here, I could. The more important thing here is the mapping. So we've done most of the mapping for you. You can see there's a first name, a last name, an email. It's all going into my CRM. It looks like there's not a phone number yet, so I'm gonna add that. I'll hit plus sign, find that phone number field that the form has set up and add that. If there's anything else I want to add, I can do that. I think there was a comments area. So if I wanna send those comments to something in here, I could. Also, if I wanted to specify a lead type, I could just type it in here. And actually, I wanna do that with the tags. So I'm gonna come down here to tags and I'm gonna type in tags Google form. That way I'll remember that's where this came from. This looks good. I'm gonna to go to the top and activate this sync. And that's it, that's all it takes. Now that spreadsheet is going to sync anybody that's added into my CRM. That means I now have this form, which I can send out to clients to get updated information. If you go over here to send, you can see if you're sending it, maybe if you're texting it to people, you're just gonna grab this link and you're probably gonna wanna shorten it and then just text them a link like that and say, hey, new year, I wanna make sure everything I'm sending to you, all the information is getting to the right place, so go ahead and fill this out. We'll make sure we have the most updated contact information so we can remain in touch. Or I can throw it on a tablet and have people fill it out at an event, at an open house, and capture that information into my CRM as well. And if you're just throwing it on a tablet at an event, all you'll do is come over here, hit the eyeball, it's gonna open it up in a new tab, and this is what you'll use. This is what they'll see, first name, last name, they'll fill it out and hit submit. That goes right into your CRM. So there we go. That is it, that's how you can sync your Google form into your CRM, capture those leads, keep your contacts updated. There's a lot of great options. It's gonna save you a ton of time and let you focus on creating more deals. If you have any questions or need any assistance setting up this sync, Give us a phone call, shoot us an email. We're API Nation and we're connecting the world's applications.